See? Like, a baby infant can land Falco combos. No end lag. And, like, I also play Falco, so I can say that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, first day Falco, if you don't hit, like, drag down Nair up to a back air, you might just not be suited Yeah. for uh, for the mashy play style. But anyways, speaking of that, we speaking got Speaking of mashy play style. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. The king. The king of all S matches, Gorioka here versus Rena, which I feel like I haven't seen Rena in a hot minute. But mm. he, of course, is the Violet Sephiroth player, which is such a unique uh, dual mains because they kind of played like pretty much the exact same. Yeah, but it makes you worry that like because of these two characters that you main, maybe there's a certain characters that kind of beat both. You know, if, if we're yeah. beating one distance demon, we're probably gonna have a decent time into into the other matchup. But uh, it's Gorioka Rena who seems to be winning in these positions. He continues to win neutral, but Rena just did such a good job to build up that percent early on. It's still even. Exactly. And right now, ooh, trying to get that jump call out, but ooh, I'm liking these side beats from Gorioka. I've noticed he started doing them a lot more lately. Mm. Like he'll play a lot more patiently, going with these uh, our sent side beats and. And once they hit, they hurt like hell. And off that, going to be able to get him on stage and get that back air off on Reno. He's on a stock lead. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh he got that. Beautiful little footstool that. down there, there from Reno. Trying to build up that little more damage until we can take this stock, which we're looking for these F tilts now. Spacing's going to be tricky, though, because Garioka, very fast moving on this Joker, but missing his dash grab and going to get punished with that up tilt. What a nice kill. Yeah, like, you know. My Sephiroth, not that good, but I look, he thinks Sephiroth up tilt is like underrated. Mm. It's like, I play Wolf and that up tilt also underrated. It just like, Sephiroth like doesn't really have too much fast grounded options. You know what I'm saying? Like, F tilt's yeah. broken as hell when you like just dash back and use it for the millionth time. But like, instant turn around up tilt, that's like the only option you really have to just kill right there. Yeah, and especially like, in that close position, that. you know? Yeah. Mm. Oh, we'll try to go for the double nair, but unfortunately, Gorica gonna be able to DI that one. Try to find a little bit of a cheesy kill with that downer right here, but Gorica luckily gonna be able to snap back onto the ledge, and Reno still hold on to this win right now. Mm -hmm. The wing Ooh. is the thing to look out for here. <laughs> Probably trying to, to counter one of the side bees, but yeah. just getting the gun instead. Still getting ledge trump, though. How much damage do you think that gun would have done? The counter of the gun <laughs> was like it was gonna point kill. five times web multiplayer. I don't know, but ooh, ooh the movement right now. Oh, Gorya's gonna go crazy. Hold on, 54% already of that. Of the, what oh, seems to be too? one opening. Ah, I'm lucky. It's such a bad position to be put in now. You have uh, our Sen out, which uh, Reno usually should just be able to down tilt to try and cover the recovery there. Gorioka, very lucky to grab the ledge in that situation. We have started uh, to air dodge through these side bees. We're not going to take this unnecessary damage because we already have wing. You know, taking the damage to get wing, that's fine. But once we have yeah. it, stay away, man. Yeah, Reno's doing a great job of just scouting Gorioka's options right now. And Ooh, try to scout out the roll as well. Wow, that up tilt yeah. actually managed to hit. And oh, that up air. I see getting canceled out by the gun. Great stuff. And oh, catching that down with the up tilt. See? Dude, the up tilt broke it. <laughs> two out of two kills with it so far. showcase for my uh, objective correct opinions <laughs> right now. The commentator was correct. That up tilt's kind of wild. And I'd agree, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a good way to catch jump. It's a good way to catch a uh, run in. Oh, it's the only real option that, that Sephiroth has to kill in those close ranges. So you yeah. think of Sephiroth as a distance demon, people are always like, oh, then just get in close and you ought to exactly. kill him. And it just like health, because like most Sephiroth players, when you're in that close court situation, they always want to roll out, do something like that. And mm. if you hit him with a jump scare up tilt, boom, that's just your stock gone right there. But Rena holding on to this wing for a long time. This could be Rose for Gorioka if he manages to find like a Nair back air onto the ledge here. But oh! <laughs> Never mind, okay. <laughs> Go for the forward end set. He's got the R set though, that could have been a huge for a recovery punish, but dude, his space is so good right now. Yeah, but look what's oh. going. Suddenly we've lost our wing oh, while no. Gorioka still has his comeback mechanic, right? We're both back to vanilla forms of our characters. <laughs> oh, yeah, the both just got nerfed. Oh my god. What are they gonna do now? Nerfed mid match. How are we gonna find our stock? Oh. It's the back air sweet spot, just enough to send Gorioka off of the side of the stage from like pretty much full stage there with the back air, but it was beautifully spaced, beautifully hit, right? Nice close to the ground. We're not taking that first game. Yeah, damn. Actually, that, that brings up the topic, which is better, one wing or Arsene? Because they both lost at the same time, but which one mattered more, <laughs> Loki? I, I'd i like to think, well, I think I think Arsene's better than one wing. 100%. I've always been a one wing believer. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. Like, oh my god, the armor, like, you know, it, it's a small thing compared to the other stuff, but like, Especially just like damage multiplier. Mm, the damage multiplier and the movement. Like having and an extra like jump, jump is jump, crazy. Third jump is crazy, bro. Yeah. Especially with that long range. But anyways, getting into the game number two, of course, on a classic small battlefield stage right now. And Reno was doing phenomenal. It was a kind of a comeback, I guess. Yeah. Uh, for like a little bit, maybe. The deficit was never that crazy, yeah. but it was still a comeback nonetheless. Exactly. That, uh, that, that wing. 
I kind of like the stall there, because you know what, Renault has been doing a lot of these just uh, horizontal recoveries. And Goryuk every single time is just setting up the side B. What he did there was just like hold on to the up B, like do the full charge of it, so that the side B didn't have time to come out. Not spacing that forward well enough though, Goryuk is just going to be able to crouch underneath it. Absolutely miss that hit. Yeah, I mean, as long, I mean, he's doing a really good job of like putting it back on the stage, but Goryuk hasn't really been able to get kills off of these uh, lead trap scenarios so far, besides like that one back air, uh, the first dock, I think. But, oh, damn. Catching him jumping with the up to love of his own, kind of did the his moment move back at him here. Yeah, taking the page from the runner book there and killing with the up tilt, Garioka. It's a good way to catch your opponent trying to run in and jump in. And what is uh, Reno going to be trying to do in most of these situations besides jump on top of you with an aerial, you know? It's, it's just how it is. Yeah, Garioka's doing a great job of just whip. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, buddy. I mean, yeah, I respect going for it. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe I don't respect it too much anymore. Oh, no. Really? That killed off the top. Crazy. I thought he was going to yeah. live, just given the, the position he was on the side blast zone. But we got sent off the top there with the with the screen KO. Just enough. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say, Gorika was doing a really good job of just, like, start focusing on, like, a whip on his playstyle. Sephiroth, of course, has a lot of lag on his, like, forward air and back yeah. air, like, compared to a lot of safe characters' aerials. But uh, after he threw out those counters, you know, I mean, he went for it all. And, ooh, Rano is the one evening things up. This equalizer. Oh, it doesn't get the footstool, but still, nonetheless, Gorika dropping that shield and getting that hit in. And, oh, oh, no! Tries to ledge trump, but unfortunately gets hit by the full force of that upbeat. That's going to be a lot of percent, but luckily not dying to it. It was such a smart way to deal with Garyoka's ledge trump, because he does do it a lot. You know, it's it's a very common Garyoka kill option to go for that ledge trump back air with Joker, Ooh. just because of how good it is. But uh, Reno really found a way to get through it there. But it's uh, Garyoka who's finding ways to get through these jump-in aerials, and the answer is anti-air. Just hit him with one. We had up tilt before, up smash oh. now. <laughs> just stop anti-airing each other. What are we? Yeah, both of these characters just love to jump so much. And I respect the idea of Goryuka going for these ledge jumps because Sephiroth, of course, they love playing the ledge sometimes. Like, if you give them the opportunity, if you're not pressuring that, oh, they're going to camp. They're going to camp. But Goryuka, you know, applying the pressure a little bit. Uh, not going to let him do that. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for that second stock. But you know what? It's the thought that counts. Truly. It's in his head now. It's in his head. Ooh, Goryuka. I'm getting mixed up. 60% off, bro. Ooh. Here oh, comes our jump send, uh... Oh, no. <gasps> yeah, this is the situation. Oh, never mind. <laughs> We had, the, we had the right idea with that down smash oh. there, but the timing was just off. Joker's counter a little too good. No wonder Goryo could be mashing it. Why is he doing this? <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't hit once, by the way. Dude, oh not my again. God. <laughs> Please, oh Goryoka. Oh One God, more counter. Watching? It'll work. They don't expect a fourth. Not oh going to matter. God. What Damn. The, what the hell? It's uh, Goryoka just getting a little too uh, getting a little too antsy there with Dude, all these counters. Dude, he literally threw up like eight counters and none of them hit. Well, you see, if he counted there in that final situation, you would have got him. I mean, that's true. Do you think that Sephiroth, like, obviously Renner trying to go for like the middle hitbox so he gets the sweet spot, but if Sephiroth fully spaces back air, he doesn't get hit with the counter, right? Maybe? I don't know. Like, nah, Joker sure. counters low key insanely it's consistent. It's kind of busted. Yeah. Like, though, I don't know. I'd say, that's a good question. Uh, apart from Sora's best counter in the game. 100%. Dude, I know 100%. I'm like a good six inches shorter than you, but why do I look so small? <laughs> what is Tiny the, man, it's the oh, angle. Let me What's with the, the ang? It's okay. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh my god. Hello, small man. Yeah. You're right. Maybe nah, you gotta like start, a, gotta start uh, stretching that back out. You know, it's it's yeah, a, it's a shoulders back, uh, neck straight, uh, just kind of, you know, like, good viewing. posture. Good posture. Yeah, just, I'm not gonna commentate this next one because I've got to. <laughs> yeah. Know. I'm focused. I'm focused right now. <laughs> Absolutely on it. I actually go through 10 hours of uh, viewing training a day. You know what I've realized? I'm actually kind of like self-conscious of it. Because you know how people... So, this is going to be... There's going to be some layers to this. Okay. So, you know like cracking your knuckles, right? Yeah. Like kind of like this stuff. That's one of my like little tick things that I do sometimes. I do that. I do but that. But it's proven that... It's like at least found that there's no correlation between cracking your knuckles and, uh, and arthritis. Which is the main scare for a lot of gamers. Like, is me cracking my knuckles going to ruin my gaming experience? Um, one thing that I also do though is this jaw crack where I like oh. sw switch my jaw back yeah, and nah, I have nah. to wonder where is the science behind whether me doing that jaw crack is ruining my jawline? In oh. which case I have to mute even more. I don't know. It's, it's, they need to start researching that. I think it this is be. this that's, is the more that, important part of the research, body. Yeah, key. very valuable. And now nowadays especially, yeah, you, know, like, you need this information. That, but exactly. I mean, I don't know because I was thinking about that too because. Um, <laughs> Very I was thinking out about of context. No, not <laughs> mewing. But I fell in my bathtub when I was like 13 or 12, Hell and yeah. I like cracked my neck. Oh shit! And like the doctor like injected a needle into my like spinal into cord spine. in my like back of my Holy neck. Holy shit! Ever since then, like the left side of my neck feels so loose compared to my right, huh. and like once every like month and a half or something.